call this meeting to order <laughs> at 604. That's right, we, it's not your meeting. It's not my meeting. We're, just, we're being recorded though, right? Yes. It's being part. recorded, so don't say anything inappropriate. Um, I'll say whatever I please, Scott. <laughs> you can't that. Move, that, not. that is your choice, Mr. It'll, be a, it'll be a matter of record, <laughs> either right. way. Right. Um, so what what was covered last week in my absence, which I'm sorry that I was not here. We essentially went through the whole budget. We got through the whole thing. Okay. And Scott had a bunch of homework. We had some questions. Um, I forwarded the answers that Andy sent to me. So you have copies of all of that. Um, that's from Andy today? Yes. Uh, yeah. yeah. After lunch sometime, right? Uh, I yeah. don't remember. Yeah, 1215. Um, so any major cuts to anything that was um, We didn't do a whole proposed? lot of cutting. I think we added, didn't we? Yeah. You added some? <laughs> no. We cut the recreation. Uh, you cut ORYA. OYA. Yeah. You added an hourly person. Um, on the detail page, there's a the difference between what. Oh, the update on the patriotic purposes. They think they want seven hundred fifty dollars. So I don't know. We talked about two fifty, but that's one thing. Or store oyster of youth. Uh, the lamp precocer cost. I uh, was at the executive committee meeting today, and the total is going to be twenty-eight ninety-one for both. In previous years, he took part of it out of bulky waste and part of it out of that line item. Now there's only going to be one charge, a combined. So, okay. I put that number as a twenty-eight ninety-one. The okay. total is down from last year. Total expense. Total expense for the lamprey is down. Okay. 300 and some odd dollars from last year. Um, I added the highway part-time assistant mm -hmm. that we talked about. Um, That's for Steve? Yeah. Really important. The other Steve. thing which I just noticed before I, well, noticed after I sent all these things out, the, I didn't include the fire department stuff. He wants to do the five-year plan, which is the 8,775 instead of the 91. Five-year plan for what? Five-year plan for um, dispatch coverage. Oh, okay. Um, that was something you guys... What do you mean by five-year plan? They, they're, they're going to average it out over five years. They'll either charge you the one-year plan, three-year plan, and the five. And overall, the five is cheaper over those particular five years. So the chief would like to use that. So five years and four years from now, we could double in our amount of calls and they're still stuck with saying at the that's my understanding yeah. okay that, that okay. A five, a, like lengthening the number of years on the contract essentially gets us a lower rate for each year right before that contract okay so should we start at the beginning and zip through it again it's, uh, it's Can I make a delta sure. column or like a percent increase column i think isn't there anyone in here but oh wait, there's no, there's one, one in the PDF. Yeah, so but not in this one. Which yeah, columns do we want to be um, comparing? Make sure we get to everything if we don't. Yeah. I think that would be helpful, Court. But can you also, um, can we see, like, just, I think that cutting these little tiny amounts is not going to really get us any meaningful changes. And so, what do you guys think about focusing on, like, the largest line items here to so start having some conversations about what we propose. Yeah, because you're right, Stacey, because right now the town rate's going up approximately 28%. Overall tax rate's going up 8.42%, just yeah. based on those things. And that doesn't include anything in terms of any salary increase pool that the board hasn't talked about yet. Yeah. We're going to talk about that on Monday. So, so if we want to make meaningful lot. change, we need to hit the largest line items, I think. Which there's limited ones that we can hit because. Um, it's my understanding that salaries and stuff, that's pretty much set by, you know, you, you made that negotiation and you believe that that was really important to do what you did as far as those prices and the amounts. So the only thing we really could do would be to 
cut positions or um, things that, like we talked about, the um, work on the roads, that was a big mm -hmm. cash item where we cut some of that out and kind of push it on to another year and say, okay, pick the worst and go from there or yeah. something like that. Is that my understanding of what we're talking about yep. here? Yes. Okay. The other thing, if you look on the summary page, I put next to, it's like in the middle, on the 2023-2024, I some question marks. Those are the things that are kind of iffy, if you will. I didn't get any information about the library auxiliary expenses, so that's Do we the know if the library, does that include the, the increasing the child library the full time? Does it include all those? I believe the salary is the... The benefit part. I'm not yeah. sure. Of it. So. I'm pretty sure that we saw in this budget the difference between the um, part-time children's librarian and what the increase would be to her full-time salary. Mm -hmm. The, the issue is the is the rest of it. Right. The, <laughs> we don't have that. The yet. issue is the benefits. Yeah. Right. Because that was a lot. Yeah. Of so we don't have those numbers. So they're not in there yet. Which I do not know. I think that um, Andy provided those numbers in the additional information that he gave to us about. New employee rate sheet. Do you happen to have that? Um, I'm sure I probably do. Which you have? Okay, yes, I have that. But it's, I was more asking if Scott had included that in the budget. Mm -hmm. I included what he put in there. So, so that's updated for this spreadsheet? 506, yeah. Okay, so that does include that. If that, yes, in terms of that 506 number. Um, the other thing that's iffy is all those particular amounts that go into the capital reserve funds. I sent you that sheet that John Tappan sent. So I rounded all those numbers up to the nearest thousand. So that's what I stuck in there. But there's question marks next to each one of those. So we need to talk about those. So. Maybe we should get the library out of the way. What's anybody think Where about that? Where we want to start. Position of, what's anyone think about that? I would not be a proponent of moving her to full time considering the benefits cost associated with it. So one, we need to know what the salary differential was and we also need to know what the benefit cost in that 506, 506,000 is. Well, yeah, because they put in an amount for a full, you know, considering it was a family plan and everything, although we do know with this person, it would be only a single person. But, oh, sorry. sorry. You, you know, it's it's so sad that that, because I, I know that they really, she's doing a good job there. Mm -hmm. She, you know, they really are increasing a lot of things with her, and she seems to be taking on a lot of things there. So it, it seems... Mm -hmm. I hate leaving people without health insurance. And, <laughs> you know, those are the things that kind of really bother me. Um, do you guys have, and I went looking for it, I could not find it. I thought Andy sent us a sheet that has all the employees and then what their benefit costs are, the health, and do you guys have that? Isn't that the, the one you're just talking about? Yeah, yeah, it's called Copy of New EE Rate Sheet. And it includes all the employees' names, which I don't know. But I yes. think I have that, but it doesn't say how much their health cost is. Maybe I'm looking at the wrong thing. So it's copy Ancillary of... Ancillary expenses. The copy of the new EE rate sheet? Yeah. No, it doesn't have the health insurance. Yeah, does it? it doesn't it have the health insurance. Employment. It's the I thought he had sent us one, but I could not find it. I did not. I don't remember seeing it. Okay. Mm. Because we would need to know what he put in for that particular position, if it's included in that 506 or if it's something that's additional. I do not know. So okay, that's something we'd have to find Are you out. Keeping track of questions again. Yep. So the other thing he didn't answer is in terms of how much that ancillary benefits would be moved into the library. I didn't get that today. So. Okay. Because it's hard to compare because it looks like last year their budget was 
253,000, now it's 207. Ooh, wow, they reduced their budget by 18%, but they really didn't. So. I'm just looking to see my email if I've missed anything for Randy. Okay. I'm seeing HW auxiliary cost for new position. Highway department. Oh, that was the highway. It was 20, it had 20, 20 dollars. You're fairly certain, Scott, that it's not part of this NHRS? That's the New Hampshire Retirement System. That's his retirement. Okay. So he's got the FICA in there, he's got the retirement, but there's usually another spreadsheet that has the employee's name. Usually that's the part that's like blacked out. Yep, and then um, their health. And then what their health insurance, what their long term dis. Uh, well, dental you saw the so. answers from tonight that he yep. sent out. Um, yep. He does have health insurance. Or if you look at that email he just sent out, mm -hmm. uh, point seven, um, bullet seven mm -hmm. is Larry, whoever Larry is. Yeah. Larry, Larry Viola, transfer station. Okay, and eight is the insurance. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't say if it's included in the 506. Yeah. I see. That's okay. the thing, because mm -hmm. as far as I remember, the change we made to Larry was after he did his stuff. I think you're right. So he wouldn't have included it. Okay. Yeah, it's not included here. So, that's a big if. But I think, you know, for that particular position at the library, if we can go back to that for a moment, I agree with you that, you know, it's unfortunate, but I think that's part of this budgeting process, right? It's like mm -hmm. we have to make some tough decisions based on what we think is gonna be right for the town of Lee and palatable to taxpayers. And I think that everybody is under stress right now in terms of you know their personal financial situations and we have to try to meet people like where they are. If 28% is gonna be the increase right now based on the budget that we're faced with, like I don't think that's palatable to voters. They don't see the 28%. Yeah, they see the 8.42. They see the 8.42. Did you guys happen to see on Facebook there was somebody who had proposed putting the um, percentage yes. increase? Yes, I was accosted in Market Basket about this. Yeah, accosted, yeah. okay. Accosted. <laughs> I'm always accosted. And I, think, and I think what the board has talked about is putting that particular uh, piece of information in the voter's guide. Okay. So the voters have that information for yeah. each one of those more articles. Can, can you fill out the part, part, part of this conversation? Yeah, so there is a resident of Lee that is um, gathering signatures for a petition. So every warrant article that is presented is going to have the associated increase to the um, tax rates based on, you know, per thousand dollars. And I think also a percentage, if I'm not mistaken. Is it just the dollar value of the change that it is oh, being proposed? We were talking about in terms of, um, like if it's $100,000, it's going to be 13 cents. Yeah, so exactly. Yeah. 13 cents per thousand. Yeah. Yes. yeah. So for each of the warrant articles, is that correct? That was my understanding. Yes, when we and significant budget items as well. And Okay, so significant budget items in the whole list? We just talked about in terms of the warrant. Oh, a warrant, okay. Because I was trying to imagine the, you know, the whole budget too, and you're taking out all these different changes that have yeah. gone up quite a bit, how much you, that that's gonna be rather. So, so maybe I misunderstood. I haven't seen the petition, but. I haven't seen it either, I've seen it on Facebook. So for instance, let's say, you know, uh, we're looking at, you know, town, town buildings and equipment made this fun. It's going up by 62,000, so that's going to be um, like seven cents or something like that. So the voters guide will say what it is and what it's for, and then say, okay, the tax uh, impact of this particular increase is seven cents. Seven cents. So yeah. this wouldn't impact this year's voter guide, it would be next year's. No, it would be this one. But if it's a warrant article. The board is doing it themselves. Okay. I see. So I you're just going ahead and doing it even though they're going to come. I see. Okay. Since That's my understanding. Some people that want it. Yeah. I'm getting nods. Yeah. So even though there's no conversation or decision made. So I mean, I think it's a reasonable request. I mean, 
mean, we so, have the information. Yeah. So where your health insurance is going up this much percent, you'll put that out on the budget beside it saying, okay, it's for, because it's going up. It's, you're telling. You're I don't think that it would be at that level of granularity. I think okay. it would probably be like. For, you were talking about big things in that. One of well, the I'm, thinking, I'm yeah. thinking about like for a uh, board of selectmen, right? Like that is kind of a, what I would consider a group of oh, with the items their budget. in the budget. Okay. On each and like level. for the board of selectmen, this is based on what they've proposed, this is going to be the impact of the tax rate. Same for elections and registration, same for, you know, town clerk, you know, each one of those. So groups. each section. That's what I would envision, okay. not necessarily to the level of granularity of like each line item in the budget. Yeah, that's not what we talked about because those particular items, those operating budgets is only one more article. The thing is, one of the things we do do is we highlight increases. So yes, we can maybe do something like that. Okay. So, because usually we go through like health insurance is up, you know, whatever it is. Well, that's why I was asking, because that's one that seems it. 506. So health insurance is up 9.9%. Yeah. So that's probably going to be one of the things that's highlighted. In, within the operating budget, we usually make a list of the things that are going up significantly or going down. Usually they're going up. Um, so, yeah, we could say, you know, it's going up 9.9%, and the reason is because the rates went up or something like that. So. Yeah. How would you envision this change to the tax rate? showing them in the voter's guide. I mean, you don't, you certainly don't want to tell them what the impact of the health, you don't want to point out the insurance, health insurance impact on the tax well, rate particularly because there's something they can do about it. This, right? the thing that I'm talking about here, these are guesstimates. Yes. Based on, <clears throat> I don't know about educated, but they're guesstimates because there's so many factors in here. We don't usually present this. I know you don't. Mm -hmm. So this is just for our edification so we know you know, because revenue changes. But the operating uh, budget changes are the ones I'm, I think that that member of the public is interested yeah, in having. The, the total, in terms of Warren articles and operating, just based on what we've talked about so far, it's up 10.63%. Okay. So that's significant. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the, the trouble we've had this last year in terms of salaries and stuff like that, it's, I had a conversation today, we were waiting for the other member to come up for the Lamprey, and I was talking to the town manager in, in Newmarket, Steve Fournier, and he, they're going through the same thing. So we're not unique. Uh, he's having the same problems we are having. They're looking at, um, uh, some of his staff is unionized, and he's coming to them, and he's gonna propose a five year, a five percent increase for the next three years for mm -hmm. the union contract. He doesn't know if they're gonna buy it, but he doesn't think he can afford you know, more than that. But all those expenses are going up. So mm -hmm. I think everybody is knowledgeable about, you know, the lumber market out there. So I walked by Kohl's and they were advertising nineteen something per hour. <laughs> so it's like cool. So yeah, you're gonna have the biggest impact, like Stacy said, on the large items. Mm -hmm. um, you can focus on deposits to the the trust funds if you want to. Um, those numbers that I forwarded to you are from John Tappan, based on what is out there. So, but yeah, you're, you're not going to get there cutting hundred dollars here, two hundred dollars there. You're, you're, you're not, not going to get there. So, what about as far as where are we? We just put in a new fire truck, right? Mm -hmm. Into, but we still are. Then we're putting this amount, so it's going up. Yeah. By the other thing that you don't have, which it's not good, we're gonna talk about it on Monday, is you do not have copies of the financial planning tool. Because mm -hmm. that would tell you exactly why that's going up. Mm -hmm. The board is gonna be discussing it on Monday, how we can get that out there so the public can see it as well. Um, and this puts nothing for buildings in this. Yeah, there's down to the bottom line number. Oh, yeah, that's right. <clears throat> Court brought this up and I didn't do anything with it, but the numbering on page two is not correct. So, but on page one, under line number 60, 
it's the hundred thousand. This is what the recommendation was from the CIP committee. Hundred thousand plus the sixty thousand from the PSC mm -hmm. bond. So I'll fix the number record so I forgot. So I apologize. Clark, can you by any chance quickly format this? So we can filter it by largest to smallest. Yeah. I don't know if you can quickly just get rid of like the extra rows. Yeah, just but you hide. don't want the extra rows. Just hide them. You don't want the department totals? We can just reference the other sheet for that or whatever. Yeah, I mean. Okay. Um, well, if we want to zero in, we can look at Scott's overview here. I mean, the, the, the departments with the largest changes, property reevaluation, that's a contract that's just going up. Mm -hmm. Government buildings is up 31%. And that's mostly the maintenance and repair. Yep. Because the buildings need it. But. Other insurance is going up 13%. Insurance. That is the property insurance. Unless you unless you don't insure town buildings and stuff. Okay. So, so highway department is an area with possible cuts. It's going up thirty one point nine eight percent. Yeah. So we could adjust just the amount of paving going on there. I don't think there's anything else to be adjusted. Um, you got some things that are being moved into the highway department. Um, <laughs> Yeah, that, that's the other thing. It's not like apples to apples. Right. But you've got the paving. That's probably your big thing um, in terms of looking at what else is in there. You've got the new person is in there. The part-time person is in there. I take paving out completely and keep that person. I'm sorry. <laughs> that, that's my opinion. Yeah. But. All the materials. The part-time well. person is not the part-time assistant that we've been talking about. Yes, That's a separate yes. line entirely. Yes, it's okay. a part-time person. Yep. It's the part-time administrative assistant for Steve. Yes. Yep. Yep. Okay. So your big things are just basically materials. All the material costs for everything. You saw the response that Andy put in in terms of um, if anything could go down because crude is down, but. Steve doesn't think he can lower the two twenty, the three twenty-seven. But so, what happens if he runs out of a line item as far as crude oil to you know? Well, for paving. For well, I'm not in the time, but yeah. gas for running his vehicles to. We're not discussing oh, wow. that. The only okay. thing that crude oil influences is the price of the paving. Right. right. So if he runs out of it, he just doesn't do as much road. Right. Um, or are you thinking about like if there's an emergency situation and we absolutely need it, but he's already used his entire budget a lot? Right. Yeah, usually what happens for this is just my opinion. The board has not said anything about this, but in my opinion, the select board gives the department head the budget, whatever it happens to be. They need to work within that budget. If they come and say, hey, you know, I'm going to go over budget because of XYZ, whatever it happens to be. The board can decide, yes, okay, go ahead and do that, or where do we get the money from to support that? So, but that's just me. So, so even if we believe that Steve should have this person in there to do the work, in his, he might say, well, I need something else that you cut, so I am going to, I want to not hire that person. I suppose he could. He can manage his budget the way that he wants to manage it okay. with the allotment of money yeah. that we give to him, right. I think is what the, the point is. Yeah. Right. And so if we tell him, you know, you requested 327 for paving and asphalt, we're giving you 200 Yeah. Figure it out. Mm -hmm. Maybe we don't do Wednesday Hill this year. Yeah, I, I, just that one line item sticks out at me. It's like, that's a really, really huge increase, and maybe you just want to spread that out and push out the... We've had deferred right. maintenance for years, we may have to just slop over deferred maintenance onto pushing out the street replacement. Because it's hard for me to say any, anything else that we cut here other than we go into police and fire and cut a person out of each. I mean, what do you do? There's not many He's things. He's already cut one position to keep the salary. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, I'm saying that other things are contracts that have been worked out. It's hard to find anything else. I don't want him to reduce the maintenance that's been deferred for years because that's only costing us more and more in the long run either. So in our last discussion, we discussed that the, the, the building maintenance has been put up way too long, but maybe right. the streets are being replaced a Does little bit like sooner than they have to. Yeah. So if there's something that can be pushed, it would be that. Yes, I agree. But when we have, a, when we have an operating budget that's only gone up 6.2%, when we have an inflation rate that's, what, 9% over the last year? Yeah. I mean, it's not too bad. I think people are going to expect that things go up a little. Yeah. But the, the overall tax, the overall town portion of the tax rate is going up 28%, and that's due to all, all these capital reserve changes that we're making. And we could recommend different amounts. Ultimately, the voter gets to vote on every one of those. <laughs> so they could just decide, eh, I mean, the amount of money that we're spending on fire stuff, I, I still don't quite comprehend how we need like a million dollars for a truck that shoots water. I realize it does other things, but it just, it just seems like such an enormous amount of money. Um, and given that every time I see one of these things happen, like every town's trucks show up, and I just wonder how many trucks were all, you know, is there some room for savings on these things? Other towns do it, have combined services can we cut 200000 out of that paving? I wasn't going to suggest 200000 but I might suggest twenty five or fifty, And that, that gets us down quite a bit. Scott, the attachment of the summary sheet that you sent out with the emails tonight doesn't seem to reflect any of the changes we talked about last week. Which ones? I'm sorry, did I miss um, them? Like ORYA, for example, is still in there. Oyster are you? Yeah, it's out there. Yeah, it's gone. You're looking at the wrong one, maybe. I must be looking at, I'm looking at the, yeah, I'm looking at the difference. I'm looking at the word. It should be dated uh, December 6th. Okay. Which is today. I'm looking at the wrong one next. Oh, okay. Sure. Yeah, because I stripped that out. Okay. And you saw the information in terms of Oyster or Youth will yes, contemplate. Contemplate. Doing that. Um, <laughs> That means no. Well, he said he had to talk to the board about it, so, and I think that if they were to make an application to the women in group, I think they would probably fund that particular need. So they do it for new market. So I don't have much, much interest in energy involved in ORYA. Mm -hmm. Pat, let me tell you, I'm more involved in ORYA than I hope to be. <laughs> you want me to sort by column S, the department had requests? Yeah. Okay. Then let's go Z to A. So what do we have to do to get Stacy something to make a report on next week? That's up to her. Usually I will give the chairperson the detail sheet, but mostly it's the summary sheet yeah. that Tom in previous years have did his presentation from. So, so um, Cord is helping me with um, this Excel spreadsheet. So we now have all of the costliest expenditures. Personnel health insurance is our number one expense mm -hmm. based on department head requests. Okay. Next is paving and asphalt. Mm -hmm. Then we have um, fire wages, police wages, fire wages again, um, retirement, salary. Next comes in at bulky waste at $96,000. MSW, yeah. Yeah. Um, we can't really not get rid of our waste, can we? <laughs> <laughs> mm. Well, last year we approved 86000 This year um, they are requesting ninety six. So an 11% increase. Yeah, the rate for tippage has gone up significantly. So, and it's not done yet. I think probably when phase three goes in in Rochester at waste management, we're going to get probably charged another two dollars in a minute, a dollar um, fifteen per ton. Well, unless you get people conserving and suddenly putting their yeah. uh, 
kitchen well, waste in a different yeah, that's place. one of the things we yeah so they're going to look into that so that could save us some and i'm not sure what the chair has in terms of her policy but if the audience wants to ask questions or make comments about compost? I did. No, 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 no. Just about anything. Just about anything. The floor is open for this questions and comments. Because this is like a it unique a experience because usually you don't get an audience. I know, it's very fun. So, I like keeping you on your toes this way. Oh my goodness. So, I'm here because I am sitting here wondering what on earth we're going to do. So it's just, it's nice to have, to hear your thoughts as you're, because you're going to present it to us, right? But to hear, I'm struggling with all the same things. Should we even be talking about the Capital Reserve anything? You can. You can. What do you Just mean? remember, your recommendations well, are the, your the, recommendations. So. The, the Capital Reserve funds are all separate articles on the warrant, though, yes. right? Yes. So the right. voters can vote those down. So yes. the, the biggest, oh my god, the town's in trouble thing to me is let's not make the operating budget so much that it gets rejected, because mm -hmm. that would be a nightmare, right? That's true. Right. Because the voters can decide, $175,000 towards these trucks. What are these guys doing with these trucks? I'm a little confused about the trucks. That's my pet peeve. <laughs> but those, if those were individually rejected, it would be a problem for long-term planning for the town, but it wouldn't be FY24 becomes a disaster. Or you have to, the select board has to come in and cut multiple positions. I mean, that, that's what the consequence of that would be. Or just so you know, there are towns that buy the display model fire trucks. There are towns that buy a slightly used fire truck at an enormous decrease. Reduction in price. instead of do buying not have to buy a brand their new dream off, truck, custom made, custom -made. everything exactly. There is. I don't like. I don't like the word custom made in anything. They're custom made. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We don't have to do that. I mean, like, we'll take one standard issue. Five year used fire trucks. I mean, I want the Ford Taurus of fire trucks if there's such a thing, right? I mean, you you just you can't have caviar tastes when you're when you've got a you know a Bud Light budget. You just can't do it. Well, just just remember how long they keep their fire trucks because they keep their fire truck way longer than anybody else does. Those fire trucks that's being replaced are about twenty years. The one that just got replaced, so they keep it way longer than other towns. So okay. if you could in consideration how much it costs and then how long it lasts, what's the cost per year for that particular piece of equipment? Mm -hmm. I don't have that information, but you know, other towns switch them out every five, ten years. We go twenty. So now when you're talking other towns, are you talking Durham and Dover and the cities or are you talking are you using towns? Towns around us. That are the not, same size. Not as little us? towns. Okay. Little so, towns go even further, so they go farther than us. Yeah. But also little towns incorporate with other towns and some share some of those expenses, right? Some Which I think, you know, that's a point that you already yeah, made Yeah, I feel like we have like this diseconomies of scale thing where you're yes. sending out this like infrared laden, huge custom made thing to every cat stuck in a tree. Yeah. And maybe only one town amongst the four towns around you needs that. I don't know. But I, I know that the fire department's always gonna request the coolest stuff that we will possibly approve, right? And no, no fault on the chief. Fire and police are supposed to be pushing for more fire and police. That's their job. <laughs> safer, that's, safer, safer, as far that, as they're concerned. That's right? one of the things that maybe the select board can task the CIP with, uh, because they're supposed to be looking at projects, and that, that is a project. Uh, so maybe that's something that we can ask them to do in terms of doing analysis. You know. We buy our trucks for $560,000 that last 20 years. This is how much it costs each year. Versus what are the other options? Can we buy the Taurus yeah. and last 10 years? How much is that? Is that going to save us any money? It's going to cost us more money? I mean, are we talking about the next truck costing a million dollars? Well, it's out. Well, it's out 20 years. Okay. But it's, you see, are, yeah. yeah. Just, in, in, just that, inflation, we get you there. Yeah, that's the thing that you want the financial planning to because that's where it will tell you how much it is. Um, and also the financial planning tool has lots of assumptions. What's the uh, inflation rate going to be? What are these expenses going up on average per year? So yes, out there someplace, I don't remember which one it is, what year it is, but yeah, fire truck a million bucks. So. Pat, last time I was here, we met with your colleague on the CIP uh, committee, oh, and yes. he, he mentioned bringing some expenses from the CIP back into the operating budget. 
yes and according to mr both we last week the select board has not made a decision on that yet but has is leaning in favor of not doing that okay so i think official there's nothing official but i think what scott was saying was that when the select board realized what the impact on the operating budget was of the changes in the definition of a of a capital item from five thousand to twenty thousand they that only made things worse it was going to bring another hundred and twenty five thousand dollars into the operating budget yep. so they changed their mind on that and okay and not officially not officially, officially yeah. and i have not talked to um Dave Cedar, the Dave chair Cedar. of the CIP. When does. will there be an official decision from the select board about that? Because I'm uh, just thinking if I'm to present on Monday. You won't know before then. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you won't know before then. So you how won't. about on Monday I just come and say, uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> well, we kind of, well you we don't want to add another $125,000. No, I don't. But so. if we did have to add it, then I would at least know what down. else we need to cut. Well, and, and I guess at this point it looks like um, the CIP, Scott was saying last week that the CIP is entitled to its opinion, and my my comment was I can't see any reason to have the CIP using one definition of a capital item and the select board and the financial planning tool using a different one. Right, we need to be comparing so, apples to apples. Um, I anticipate, although I have not talked to anybody on the CIP committee about this, that we'll probably revert to our other definition of it. I just don't think that you can ever say that tires are capital improvement. It's a maintenance item. So there's some things that we were just getting wrong for a long time. Well, I know, That's but fine. if the problem is if, if this it, probably isn't the year to put those items in the operating budget. And it sounds like maybe that's a conversation for another day. That's a conversation. Yeah. But if for right day. now we're saying they're not going to be included, then right. that's that's my answer. That yes, that's it. your answer. Yeah. <laughs> the, can I that's, well, a, that's a not so short answer. While I'm interjecting, I'll just add another one. Something to think about is that every single year, the easiest thing to do is to adjust the paving budget, which we've done year after year after yeah. year. Just so you know, that six hundred fifty thousand dollar fire truck and those plow trucks and everything else, their wear and tear greatly increases that expense happens faster, those tires need to be replaced faster if we're not paving and those vehicles drive over all those roads all the time. So there's only so many years we can do that before we start to really regret it. And yep. oh, yeah. that's a dangerous. Once, you know, slope. when if you go through towns and if you ride around this area, some of the towns, you can tell when you've passed <laughs> over a town line because some towns yeah. on the motorcycle, you really are avoiding the potholes or how they pay, or how they, plow is unbelievable because there's big dents right. and so they can't truly get all of the you're wasting salt you're wasting a lot of expenses that you right. don't realize that you're to not deal with that yes i do think we're well, so far looking we, at our roads we're we're well think, within well, yeah. taking care of them and and the people taking care of them can be very proud of the condition of them but i think that they can go a little longer that's my opinion and i'm not an expert at it so <laughs> that based on some other things in the budget, I think that that could be pushed a little ways. Now, I'm that Wednesday Hill place, oh, yeah. which is place. a big concern, that would be the one leaving in, not necessarily the other projects that were. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. But the other thing that Stacy touched on earlier is, I think we have to be sensitive because at some point the voter can say, nope, I'm not gonna do that. Right. And all those increases that you've given to the staff, there's no funding for them. Right. Uh, and then what do you do? So then it becomes a, a job for the select board to say, okay, this is what we've got. We've got the same budget as last year. What's going to go? And either you're going to drop salaries or you're going to drop services. You're going to drop something. Because... Or you're going to turn the heat down in the buildings. <laughs> so it's going to be, you know, it's not fun. So, right. you know, it's, it's a difficult, and I'm agreeing with what Katrin said, this is, this is not easy. This is hard stuff because there's hard decisions to be made here. Um, and I think the select board, this is my opinion, the select board looks to you guys, what are your thoughts? Um, because we're not total experts on everything. So um, we want to hear what you guys have to say and what you suggest, so. Can I bring up something we talked briefly about last week that Stacy didn't get the benefit of? Um, if you look at the line item, and I know this is 
under discussion at the Board of, uh, the Board of Selectmen, mm -hmm. but the Chief of Police has given himself a raise of about 20 grand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I already have that. I, I, I see yeah. you're changing things in here. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. I don't... <laughs> I'm trying to set a condition to just keep track of any changes that we make. Um, and is that currently under negotiation? At least that's what Andy mentioned. Um, I think at this point the board is sticking with what Andy has just told us, so that's going to be discussion on an upcoming meeting. So, so what what position should we take? That is your choice. That is your choice. That is your okay, choice. We don't have any because you haven't already negotiated something with him that we need no, to. No. So about. just just as an FYI, it's a personnel matter, and it's not a public discussion kind of thing at this particular time. So there's nothing I can say in okay. the public about that particular subject. But we have flexibility. You can do whatever you want. To give our opinions. Yes. Yep. Okay. Yep. So if you don't think he should, because he put in the increase, um, if you don't think he should be getting that, take it out. Did uh -huh. he get other, you know, the extra pay and different things? He got along? something. I don't okay. remember. He got something twice. Okay. I'm getting prompted. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks like it was probably in the form of a bonus based on what I'm seeing no, from exactly. the 2022 oh. approved budget. There is a, um, well, I think I brought it. Hold on. There's been a salary change twice in the past year. I think I'm not seeing that reflected. Yeah. Because it's it looks like he's been relatively year. static yeah. since 2021. All right, John's field, he got, in July of 2019, he got a COLA increase of about, geez, don't make me do the math here, um, about $1,700. He got a merit of $800 in 2020, of January 2020, and then he got a $4,200 increase in June of 2022. One other question. Yeah. Oh, uh, does the chief get um, overtime pay too? No, or he's is salaried. he salary? He's salaried. Okay, so he told us quite several times when he was here that he <clears throat> was putting in an additional 13 hours or something like that a week or something like he's that. Picking up a lot of time. He's yeah. picking up a lot of this overtime. Mm -hmm. um, I know when I work somewhere, I put in an awful lot. In fact, 13, mm -hmm. hour, or 13 extra hours a week wasn't a lot. <laughs> mm -hmm. But everybody makes their choices. So, yeah. um, but he did mention that, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Does he get, does he also do some of the, what is it considered? Details. Details. Mm -hmm. Yes, he does. He doesn't yeah. get, does he get paid extra for those? Yep. Yes. But that doesn't reflect it in his. So that comes out of a different line. Yeah, that's out of the, the uh, special budget. duty, which is a off budget account. Right. So when they do details, the vendor, whoever it happens to be, pays into that particular fund. Uh, and then when the employee gets paid, they get paid out of that fund. And does that reflect on their retirement as well? Well, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that question. It does? Okay. It's the last, nod. last certain number of years, including. All right. It's three or something. <laughs> We're not helping Stacy out much here. <laughs> nope, haven't put anything yet. Thank no, we keep telling ourselves a lot of stories about why we can't cut anything. Yeah. You know? <laughs> no, we, <laughs> to figure out what you to can do. cut whatever you <laughs> think is appropriate, but we haven't cut anything at the moment. So, <laughs> I didn't exactly understand Andy's comments about the um, cemetery. Are we going to set up a? According to that, no. Okay. He doesn't right. have any information, so I guess he's going to wait till next year. Okay. It sounds like he's having a hard time getting information on how much it will cost. Put that fence around. Yeah, because okay. it, we had talked about setting up another. Yeah, as far as I understand, it's the fence that's out front next to the road. Okay. Um, remember because you so. remember what seven, eight yeah, years ago we put the fence around the back side, but this yeah, is the front. You're but it's not supposed to be the same yeah, fence. It's different, so. And the one for the patriotic that was tripling, is that? 
Well, yes, well, I think and that's... To the request was AAA. Yeah, so Bill's requesting it to be $750,000 because he's got to replace some things this next year. So I don't know. They decreased it last year to try to help with the budget. Yeah. And there's a lot of things that didn't get taken care of as yeah. far as I know. So I don't know if you want to increase it from the $250,000 we already have in there to $750,000. But then again, that's an ad. So... Can we go back to the library and use services person? Sure. Yes. Yeah. I feel like that's an easy choice. Sure. To not make that person full time because of the health and benefits associated okay. with that full time position. Right. What do you guys think? I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. Okay. So Bambi. the only thing I need to know you is. You have what reservations. I, I have understand. Reservations about and that. I agree. She's doing excellent. I go to the library with my kids and do their services. And so it pains me to say that myself, but with the unknown associated with those health and benefits, I can't say in good conscience that she would do any less mm -hmm. if we didn't I'm not exactly sure what their motivation is. If their motivation is to get her benefits or if their motivation is to get her more money, because I if they really, if the motivation was to get her more money, they could increase her hourly rate and yeah. not increase her hours. Right. So I'm not sure what they're... I, don't I think they is. wanted her for more hours, and she takes over and replaces people a lot of times and has been doing overtime stuff to, because when other people have been sick, she's been pulling mm. a lot of hours there. It's a service way. to the parents of the town, too, because your kids get out and then they can go there. Um, which is something that the, a lot of kids, the people that don't have the ability to pay for after school programs, mm. utilize. Which line is that? Library use services full time. So we just need to know what the differential is between what she's earning now and what the increase is, and also the, at the benefits for that. The position. differential, I think we had, and it's very minimal because yeah, it's not right. that many hours. Many I hours think it was like around $5,000. Yes. Yes. In defense of our decision, mm -hmm. the library has never really um, made an effort to negotiate into saying, okay, we'll take some money from this line item in our budget to defer. If you'll, if you'll put X dollars into our budget, we'll commit to, rate, to paying the rest of it out of other expense lines. Mm -hmm. They've never come back with that. They've only said, we want more money. So I, I feel like they haven't really helped much. I don't know if that's a fair complaint or not. Where do I note that? <laughs> um, so this is this is cutting something that we don't have an account for now because it's not in the answer. No, you, you, you're cutting that line item. <laughs> so you need to know what she's earning now so you can put that line item back to... I don't have their submission here with me. I looked and I didn't bring it. So I don't know if anybody has it, but you can see what that particular person's position was paid in this current fiscal year and what they're proposing. The differential is what you want to cut out of that line. It's else? two separate line items, actually. So they're, they added a youth services full-time line item, and mm -hmm. that is row 38 of your spreadsheet okay. at 39000 So it's now zero? That's going to be zero. But we're not going to take it away entirely. We're just going to keep her at what she currently is, which is a part-time employee. And what row is that? That they one use was likely removed more money for the. Could they raise more money for the changes to the library to pay for the difference? They could if they wanted to. So, so we're putting her back under PT. We're putting her right under three forty-seven. Come up with okay. money. So you're backing out thirty-nine thousand and adding what? Thirty-three nine hundred. Thirty-three nine hundred. So that's not very much. Yeah. <laughs> and the only issue is how much did he include? If he did include anything for benefits. The other thing, just, just, I won't tell you you have to do this, but politically, if that's the only thing you're going to cut, that's not going to be the only. That's thing not going to be the. That's going to not be going to be good. So. I think we have to go back to paving and asphalt, and I agree okay. with everybody that we're just kicking the can down the road, and it's going to be causing us higher costs elsewhere. But a single line item going up seventy-two percent a year, I just feel like you have to say, no, nope, it's going to go up some odd percent this year, and then even more the year after or something. Right. Do we want to, and I know this is, I hate saying this, but should we be maybe making some adjustments to the building repair and maintenance as well? Maybe take some out of both so that we have a more balanced argument. I mean, 
we can't do it. I know, I know the items that Steve's got in there are all ones that we really want to do. Yeah. But is there any wiggle room there? I would rather take it out of the paving and get the maintenance stuff done personally. That's that's my vote. I, I don't know. Would, Mr. Buckley, do you have an opinion? <laughs> Well, you can reduce the paving some, but you know, maintenance and repair. No, okay. Well, I'm just so I'm I'm trying to give us some cover. You can be your last comment. You can probably take something, but you know, if you want to take forty thousand, I think that would be way too much. He went from thirty-three to seventy-four, eight eighty. And he has a list that backs that up, right? Yeah. So. Okay. And he's got a list that backs up everything, so it doesn't help. He went to sixty-five. It's only a nine thousand dollar difference. I mean, right now it increased 70? by one hundred and twenty six percent. What if we just say, okay, double it, sixty six thousand instead of the seventy four that he requested? That's still anything we double. Anything is going to be arbitrary because we're being arbitrary. Yeah, which is yeah the nature of budgeting. Right. And the thing is, you know, Steve, he'll do what he can with what he's got. Yep. So if you say it's sixty thousand or sixty six, whatever, that's he'll just do his stuff. Yeah, that, that's doubling what he did this last year. Well, yeah. for fiscal year twenty three, uh, he was approved for thirty three thousand dollars. But he's spending way more than that, and we're struggling to find that. So he's spending more like sixty something. Yeah. The other thing to remember is that if he has an assistant, it's possible they could be working towards grants, and a grant would help with the maintenance on some of the old buildings. Yeah, that's a good yeah. point. I'm I'm a proponent of that assistant for him. One hundred percent. Yes. I don't I'm hundred percent on that. It's part time, no benefits. I think that he really needs it. Well, he probably needed it last year, and he still won't get it until <laughs> July. <laughs> well, he, did, he did need it last year. He did need it, yeah. But he just needed it for. But I think that you know that shows that that shows him our goodwill at least, right? Like we are regrettably cutting some of these line items that he's requested budget for, but mm -hmm. we're also giving him an extra person to hopefully, like you're saying, Katrin, do some of. The more administrative stuff to free him up to um, do some other things. Do other things, mm -hmm. and then maybe yeah. next year. And so, okay, so that was building maintenance and repairs. Do you want to drop it to sixty-six? We a court has updated it on the spreadsheet to sixty-six. I, I can I can live with that. Which is a one hundred percent increase over <laughs> what was approved in twenty twenty-three fiscal year. Um, paving. Paving. Do we know how much the Wednesday Hill project is of that? That was like two um, thirty-six or two fifty or something. Some huge chunk of it. It's a huge. To chunk. pave the whole road. To there, yeah, to redo and make the it. Then there's a chunk coming out of the um, capital reserve fund because they're. they're That's the grinding and the doing the, some. Yes. Yeah. Correct. They have to do that first before. The other thing is that I don't know if you guys have driven to the highway department, but there's literally whole chunks of road missing. Very, very dangerous to drive. And he puts that off every year because he's always, always like, well, I'm the least important. I'll do it later. And like that needs to be done. That's like a disaster. Well, Wednesday is closed. He can come over there and dump. <laughs> As, at the end of the day, <laughs> what's left? <laughs> <laughs> That's my road. <laughs> SUV, Pat. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> so, you should be able to get around those. <laughs> 327, what do you want to drop it by? 50,000, 75? Well, my, my initial was just rounding it down to 300,000, which would still be a 58% increase. Mm -hmm. Scott, most years you have a sense for where you want to end up. Do you have a sense this year? I'm, I'm, my sense is not 8%, that's for sure. Um, Where were we last year? Uh, well, initially you were at five. <laughs> you were at five. He went and kicking and less. screaming the whole way, and we were like, outvoted yeah. him, and he had to deal. Yeah. And but the thing is, you know, the thing that saved us this particular, because we reduced the tax rate by five cents. Yes. Woo! But the thing is, what saved us, we got more money from the state. ARPA. The, um, well, no, not ARPA, other monies too. I know, but our opera doesn't count and gets the opera. It took care of a lot of maintenance. Though. Well, it took, it took, a ton of maintenance. took oh, yeah. care of things we would have had to spend oh, yeah. money on. That's um, why I... The school budget come in less than what they told us, mm -hmm. uh, and we got extra money from the state. So those things are the things that saved us. Um, so yeah. There's one more 
thing that was talked about that apparently at the end of the year you don't spend as much in no. things like the health insurance because you had that one. Mm, no. Mm, well, it's had not, it lately. Mm, okay, so you're not it's based on all the positions being filled, and they're not all filled. Yeah, right. And, and and based on all the positions being filled with families. Um, other than well, well, on a new position, on yes. A new position, yeah. On a new position. But if there's a person already here and they already have a two-person plan, that's what we budget for. Okay. So, but yes, if there's a new position, he puts in the worst for whoever worst, it is. Worst case, which is the family plan. Right. So, okay. and he bases it on all the positions that have been budgeted for being filled, and the police department has been yeah. has had a lot been, of unfilled positions. Down. Fire department was down a little bit too. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, so in terms of answering your question, I'd like to be down in the threes and fours. I don't think we're going to get there. So, but the thing is, I don't want to risk the same. If we want to say, okay, here, Mr. and Mrs. Miss or Miss, whoever they are, voter, I have a budget for you. It's eight percent, and some of the people are going to say, okay, okay, I can deal with that. Other people are going to say no. I don't want to get in a position that say they say no, and we go back to the default budget. That creates a lot of more work and a lot more pain for everybody. So I'd Has rather come in with in something Lee? that's halfway reasonable. Has but, it ever happened in Lee? Not in my no. Happened in Deerfield all the time. Yeah, they never had to happen to Deerfield every year. So, so okay, last year, fiscal year twenty three approved was one hundred and ninety thousand. Um, it looks like fiscal year twenty twenty two he actually spent two hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. So what about two fifty? He's requested three twenty seven. Not two hundred and seventy-five dollars. I'm, 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 I'm working on zeros here. <laughs> Do I hear three and two seventy-five? That would be a forty-four percent increase, and the year after that, give them even more to catch up. But right. don't pile it all on. Well, the thing is also that cost increase. Part of it is um, the price of crude oil. Right, right. And More crude oil hoping. was up. Now it's down a little bit. So. But the thing is, can we all look on our crystal ball and say in July 1st, 2023, what it's going to be? Right. No, we certainly can't. So, no, but the senator from Pennsylvania changed his mind and said he's open to fracking, so <laughs> baby, baby drill, drill, baby drill, it's going to happen. As long as it's not in our sure, backyard. Baby drill. Yeah. All that will be... Now, if we cut by that much, we've now successfully cut $87,000 out of this, and we've moved the percentage increase... Uh, of the town from 6.45% increase in the budget to 4.65% increase in the budget. So, so can we go home? <laughs> I mean, that gets us a little bit of the just, way. Just remember it's being recorded, so. In the Foster's Daily Democrat, tomorrow's edition, Stacy Waits, so the chairman of the budget committee, <laughs> right. says, can we go home? Go home. Right. So there was one other thing that came out that's an ad. Yeah. Oh, can we finish? Okay. Are we at two fifty? What are we doing? I put it at two seventy five. And that four percent that uh, he quoted you was with two seventy five. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. Was that uh, what was it? Rides. Ready rides. Ready rides. Ready rides. So that was another. That was fifteen hundred dollars extra. Right. We and do you want to take a look at some of these capital reserve fund things? The other thing that we don't have is usually the town minister gives us in terms of what the liability is for current benefits. Last year we didn't put anything because we had sufficient monies in there. But we have a bunch of people retiring. Well, I'm not sure. So I don't know what the implication is. Uh, in previous know. years we had a particular employee that was like almost 60% of that whole amount was that particular person. So they're no longer here. They're no longer here. So. I'm just wondering what our liability is. That would be really important to know. So that's a piece of information we do not have. Um, the rest of these particular things that have question marks are just based on what the financial pool planning tool is telling us. The one that I have a problem with is 47. Um, on the first page, I, I would like to personally zero that out. But Which one is this? That's the Library Capital Reserve Fund. Oh, are we on to the CIP now, Scott? Uh, I, 
That's just where I went. That's, that's the second line. You wanted to go home. So, the second you know. line, 47 <laughs> under Leetown Fair. Yes, it's the second out. line of number okay. 47. So. 47 sub 2, $72,000. Yeah. And you, so. want to, you want to take that to zero. Now, I want is to this one, they, that's from the financial planning tool. They have not requested anything. I, I know that. So I'm wondering where the 72 comes from. So once again, we're back to we don't have the financial planning tool in front of us to see what that is. And there, wasn't there a comment from John that that, that trust fund will go negative? Mm -hmm. He said that. Yeah. Well, what do they got on the list? They haven't contacted him. They've ignored his request for information. So. It's they came in to see us uh, at the CIP. Mm -hmm. They they have a lot of holes in there their situation. There's a lot of things they're expecting the select board to pay for, the town to pay for. Like? The library, like the... Um, yeah, I, gosh, I wasn't here at that meeting. I was in wonderful was Oklahoma. That's right. The list was long. So they're doing the upgrades on the mm -hmm. library right now. Right, but it's not including the heat and AC. It's not including the... Um, Insulation. It's not including like a lot of like of course any exterior. Mm -hmm. um, it's not including. There were some other things that I was surprised I can't remember what they were. The heat and the air conditioning is that there? Is that the library's nickel or is that the town? It's one of those gray areas. Yeah. Uh, and it's included in the CIP. We so, said they were waiting for estimates. So we talked to them several times. They said they'd had somebody come in and look at putting in uh, the mini splits. And the, oh. the contractor said they needed nine of them. If they were yeah, which means they're not looking at the right because you it, more of like a heat pump that's a one. I know, thing. I know it did. They and the word asbestos and um, lead lead paint comes in occasionally, and they mm -hmm. change what they want to do. And that would be a town responsibility in their eyes. Well, the the asbestos that's inside the there's asbestos in the the it's uh, insulation above the. The glue for the sheetrock, mm -hmm. mm. mm. and they're trying to yeah they're trying to find a way to do what they want to do to the interior without disturbing that because if they disturb that they have to stop yep. and mitigate all of that so I think that's some of why they're and that makes it difficult for them to come up with prices right correct yeah yeah no, so no. I can understand that ultimately if it's them or us the town still is paying for it. it's all of them save money in the end. So, and I think one of the things, and I'm not sure, you have to revisit it again, but ARPA funds, we designated some money for doing the outside of the old schoolhouse building. But I don't, I don't think that we, we did an ARPA, did we? I think there was an ARPA. Okay. Because remember, Steve, I think it was 25000 or something. Oh, okay. Um, but that's just doing the outside because the outside uh, siding needs to be replaced. And also, mm -hmm. the other conversation we had was in terms of, well, if you get the outside siding already off, Insulate from the, inside. the outside instead of the inside, and you don't disturb the inside. But so we have a lot of unknowns, which is hard. We've tried a couple of times at CIP to get them to give us answers, and we didn't get anywhere either. So I don't. Well, I think it needs more work. What? So what does that whole their plans? Well, that whole process. Yes, I agree. because according to the RSAs, they're in charge of everything inside the walls. Heating, cooling. Some of it's inside, <laughs> some of it's outside. So the town owns the building, so there's a responsibility there. But like I said, either way, the town's paying for it. Either it comes out of the selectman's budget or somebody's budget, or it comes out of the library. But the library gets their money from the town, so. The problem is we have to have enough money to pay for these things as they're doing the upgrades, or else, you know, you don't want to like put it in with old heating and then have to take everything out and redo it to put it in new heating, so. Traditionally, the the uh, like the furnace that was just replaced downstairs, mm -hmm. the town paid for that out of one of the trust funds, it's capital reserve funds, excuse me. So we paid for stuff before. So in the past, um, when there had been warrant articles for additions to trust funds, the library one appears to have come from the library, not from select yeah. board. And if they have not requested one at this point, I would leave it out. I'd take it out because. Well, this particular these numbers with the question marks are from the financial planning tool. So that's I, where they're from. I would make the case that we should just take it out because at this point, they have not indicated that they're going to request any additions to the trust funds this year. No. Would that I think, be a fair position to take? I think part of it. I think I agree with. Well, 
the audience. I agree with the audience about that, that uh, it needs more work, and I think we need to figure out what it is they need and what the building needs, and then, then we'll figure out how we're going to pay for it. Because just because it says, you know, the library, what is it, library, where is it? Lee Library Building Capital Reserve Fund, can you take it out of there? Can you take it out of the, of the Library Capital Reserve Fund? Yeah, you're going to have to have legislative approval to get money out of there. But you can also take it out of Town Buildings and Equipment, uh, equipment Maintenance Fund, too. So just because it's a library doesn't mean you can't take it out of the Town Buildings. So I think we need to determine what it is that they need, when do they need it, and then plan They don't know. Because they came back to the CIP, on a, they requested time to come back, and they still didn't know any more than they did the first time. So then my, my point is, in terms of this year's budget, what yep. we're really concerned about is how much money is going to go into the reserve funds. And if they have not made a request, I would... Well, it sounds like they need help. Well, uh, my they 47 sub 2 on the spreadsheet that you sent me, Scott, is already at zero. The what? The Lee Library Capital Reserve Fund is already at zero on the second, the Excel version of this sheet that you sent me, <laughs> which is what I'm working off of now. Um, it's at 72,000. December 6th version? On the summary? No, he's working yeah, on I'm saying the Excel version that you sent me, it's already zero. The line, oh, the line zero. below is marked yeah. as 30. Yeah. So if that was exported from the same thing. Nope, they're two different things. Okay. Two different things. Well, then I can just leave mine as is. You, that's perfectly fine. Okay. But I can take it off this one if we're in agreement. Yeah, I would take it off that one. All right. And then the rest of them, I don't know if you were even considering any of those. The reevaluation fund, we didn't put any because we got sufficient funds, but we got to start putting more, more money in. The for the next time. For yeah. the next time in five years, it's about 60000 Well, this last time it was almost forty, but... They did do a very nice job. So I think the next one up was 50 something. So, so should we put money in for sure? You should probably put something in, maybe not 11,000, but this is the numbers coming from the financial planning tool, and that has exactly how much it costs. Can't so. you do 10, 10, 10, and then up at the last two? When okay. It actually close? okay. That saves us 1,000, but. Well, right. we're going to try to cut other things. Yeah. Reevaluation fund, change it to 10? Yes. Okay. Recreation, 5,600. I think on the other thing, that's zero, isn't it? They didn't ask for any of this one this year. Uh, this is from the financial planning tool, so zero. I guess I'll cut it to zero unless somebody says something. Scott, what, what are you looking at? I'm sorry. This. This is Which Scott's is? second attachment. Yeah, that's a summary. For budget summary. And it's different from the Excel version, so this is about, about as confusing yeah. as it could be. The Excel, <laughs> the Excel version doesn't have all the warrants in it, all those I particular see. capital reserve funds, because Joanne doesn't track them that way. I see. Okay, so how? let me just look at the totals and see how far yep. off we are. Oh, I'm sharing this from my other screen. Okay, there's about a $200,000 difference, so we'll have to figure out what the difference is there. Mm -hmm. I'll, just, I'll start looking through them while, we're, while other discussion is happening. I don't think the re the recreation, uh, I don't think they asked for anything for this year. Right. But, like I'm saying, I don't think they have me. anything. I don't think they have anything. Well, they have the, they the court. For, the tennis court is one of those things. They were asking when or, they came forward, they asked us for money for the fireworks. Yeah. Yes. But that's not in here. As far as I understand, did somebody know? I'll look it up. But I remember there there was some number that they asked for from recreation. Yeah. They were also looking for some money for something. According to Andy, they are going to yeah, fundraise for fireworks. That's why it's not here. Fireworks are not here. Right, but they wanted money for something. What? <laughs> well, you okay, Stacy? <laughs> I just told Gord I finally have identified the right thing that you're talking about. Oh, I'm getting the Google sheet up today too. This is, I'm, I'm working through the uh, through the differences here between so, the two versions. Yeah, so they don't ask you money for fireworks. So we're gonna keep that going in. The other things that are out there, transfer station equipment is at ninety two thousand, it's up fourteen from last year. Town building and equipment maintenance funds up hundred and sixty two thousand uh, at hundred and sixty two thousand sixty two thousand more than last year. 
highway equipment's up a little bit. Bridge fund is down a thousand. Fire equipment's up 99,000, goes from 175,000 in this current fiscal year to 274. I think when we, when the CIP um, when we discussed this, I think our starting point was going to be last year's numbers, yeah. not the financial planning tool, because we didn't have the financial planning tool. And like I said, these ones with the question mark are what John sent us. So. I would slow down how much is going into the fire equipment myself right now. Take that well, you've got court support. Level. I agree. <laughs> Good what? Good court. What is it? Good what do you want to change support. it to? Yeah, my support for these 175. Yeah, these space capsules that we're buying. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. It just seems like a lot of money. Cisterns. Thirty-seven thousand so versus twenty. Uh, Go ahead. Don't we have enough in there right now that was, you know, there hasn't been some things done? Well, this is this is the numbers from John. So that's based on what he has in the tool at the moment. To fund that particular thing so we don't go negative is this is the amount that he's saying. We can say whatever we want. I think that last year the Board of Selectmen adjusted a lot of these numbers from yeah. I think we got to the same point last year when the Board of Selectmen went. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's the other thing is in terms of kicking it down the road. You can do it maybe once, maybe twice, but you can't keep doing it. Over so far with the numbers that we've discussed, the percentage change has moved from 44.04% to 32.5%, so we're down quite a bit. 32%. What? 32 percent increase in the capital reserve. Isn't that what your number here is? Subtotal on line 63. Which, which number 63? <laughs> the subtotal below all these items. Yep. 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 It's what, what it goes from 34. Yep. Yeah. We're down to 634,000 to 913,000. Yep. So now that that percentage change is down to 32 percent. Okay. Right. So, um, and, and that's with eliminating that 72,000 from. Okay. Yep. Uh, is the accrued benefits, we still need to put 15000 into that? That's a question mark line? That's, That's a question, question mark line. because usually we get from the town administrator what the liability is. Like last year it was 134000 or maybe it was the year before. But we, I thought, I don't that, have I thought that that was because the former town administrator had a contract that allowed that person, <laughs> since we have to always say it in these terms, who is a specific person we all know, but I'll say that. Um, to accrue those benefits year after year after year, but now those don't roll over or there's a maximum amount of, accru of, a, of accruing of sick days or whatever. The, the town administrator has the same contract or the same as all the policies other everybody else. There's nobody that's different. And that's some amount accrues, but then it's just done after a certain amount. Yeah. It falls yes. off the cliff. Yeah. yeah. So it so doesn't you roll over, it doesn't keep going. If you, you don't, don't use, use it, you, you lose, lose it. it. Yeah. So that fund shouldn't have to accumulate too much. It should essentially hit a point where we're saturated. Yep. We're covering yes. the liability. Yep. And the thing is, if everybody left, you'd need the total liability. Is everybody going to leave at the same time? No. So you just have to cover what the ongoing expense is. <laughs> they have so many other Unless you to cut the increases. Okay. And then <laughs> you know, so, you know, for instance, um, in previous years... But we years, think that that's been, a reasonable number to put in, 15? Well, usually... To catch well, up? I'm not sure because I don't have the update spreadsheet of what the liability is. So Usually we have about a question 10. mark on that one yep. to, to get in, information on that. Yep. Well, well, the thing is, yeah. for Ask, you to make an informed decision, you need the information right. and you don't have it. So so we're, we're saying keep that one in mind. On okay. Okay, I'll well, comment just there. to keep it in mind, but this is our last scheduled meeting. So if right. we don't decide tonight, you have to have another meeting. And we're telling you oh, to keep it in mind because you're not... <laughs> <laughs> I have made a note to ask Andy uh, what the accrued benefits is supposed to be. Yep. You want the spreadsheet that says what the total liability is. Yep. Yep. Okay. So in terms of open items for Stacy, we have that number and we have the situation with the library. She needs to have also the spreadsheet, not to tell you what you need to do, Stacy, but <laughs> You need the spreadsheet that says, in terms of all the benefit costs, mm -hmm. who is included and who isn't. Because you need the number, if he's included benefits for this position that we're recommending not to fill in the library, that needs to be backed out of the 506000 The other thing is, the position that was added in the transfer station 
is Larry Ola's new cost in that 506 or not? I would say not. So those are two things that need to be done. It's way too hard to find what people presented us. I'm just trying to find the Junk. Right committee. That people do what? The, the day that Karen came to talk about the rec committee. Oh, okay. Like I've tried 10 different ways. What are you looking for, Katrin? The day. You want the, the actual date? Yeah, do you have that when our committee came? Yeah, it's on the, should be on the schedule. I'm. They came a different time than when they were just oh, said okay. they were going to come. <laughs> um, that helps. And I'm trying to find on the Lee New Hampshire page where the schedule is. Mm, should be under the ABC. No. Nope. She didn't post it? She should have. I just don't, I don't, I might be missing it. I'm just. Okay. You mean Karen for planning and zoning? Yeah, what day planning? Uh, no, for um, uh, work committee. I think she right. did it the same thing. She, she came on same. the 29th of September. It Thank like. you. And I'll go look there. Yes, in her capacity as chairman of the rec commission. Mm -hmm. Right. Then they're talking about the winter carnival stuff. Have we put in the ABC minutes? I just I'm not finding them anywhere. We have draft ones. Oh, there they are. I don't have the one from September. Well, that's the other thing we should do at some point because we've all got those minutes and we're backed up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, the last ABC meeting is from eight, August 23rd. It's the only one that's in mm -hmm. printed here. And the thing is, these budgets these people submit, they're not like tons of fat on them. Right. So when you start cutting, you're going to have to start cutting either people or you're going to have to start cutting services. So. Mm -hmm. For the MSW in the, in the uh, transfer station, is he using the same tonnage with a different rate or is he up the tonnage as well? I'm not sure. I don't have that particular information. Um, the rate is 82 or something. Two something. Um, we generate about 1,100 tons a year. About. Um, the problem is when the economy is bad, tonnage goes down. When the economy is good, tonnage goes up because people are buying more stuff and. Throw them away. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> what they replace? The thing is, we have not cut that number. No. Well, the thing is. We talked about it last time in terms of the whole, if we can divert more of the food waste, mm -hmm. that's, yeah. that's stuff, you know. Waste. I thought yeah, about that when I, we were at the, dump, the transfer station, excuse me, this morning, and those two little wheelie bins aren't very prominent. prominent. Yeah. No one well, we had, one. was it you last time that says you had no idea what you Yeah. So if he doesn't know, yeah. and he's there active in town. Really he's right home. outside the building. If people are For composting. Well, right outside the building is where I, I'm i already out the door and driving away. <laughs> so I know, exactly. If they were we inside stopped. the building. We go to the dump. You know, we go early. early. We go at 630 yeah. when they're not even supposed to be open. And I, we stopped today to look. And you had said there were bags. <coughs> there are supposed no bags. There's, there's supposed to be. There was. There's bags. Up at the front. Oh, okay. Where yeah. you throw your um, egg cartons, your egg cartons and stuff. <laughs> There's a little box there that says, "Only take three <laughs> at a time." So <laughs> they're little bags, and that's it's the number paper. that we discussed at our meeting last week for the audience. Is right. that if we could get our, if we could get everybody food composting, we might be able to get rid of, get our MSW down 40 percent. And food composting sounds like work. Did it's you just wait. throwing your food into a separate green trash bag and then throwing it away. I'm sorry, I, I found the recreation information. We did. Do you know that it costs the same amount basically to do food composting as it does to the trash? With I'm just telling you, Mr. Fox. Does, somebody no, told us. Food composting at your house. So it never even gets to us. Oh, yeah. So we looked into all the different yeah. Oh, okay. Options. Well, the sustainability committee had a big year-long search, and what we found was that the most economically feasible is Mr. Fox, and what we found is that, that price is very similar to MSW. So what we're trying oh, okay. to what, what they're trying okay. to do is ask some local farms, and the problem is that people contaminate their yeah. compost. It's very complicated. 
So there's no easy. There's no easy answer, and there's no quick fix. Yeah. Okay. But, but I will. I will tell you. I found the recreation thing. Do you guys want that? Yeah. 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 What is it? So the request for fiscal year 24 is recreation events 9,800. Yeah. And then for supplies for Parks and Rec is 900, so 10,700. Yeah. There's nothing there about it about purchases from the reserve funds. No, but I think the recreation events was the fair and the fireworks, correct? Uh, I think no, not the fireworks. What would 9,800? That was including the... Well, you've got the fishing derby, you've got the egg hunt. The egg hunt and the winter carnival. Yeah. yeah. They're and, not going to do And they want to do the fireworks. Market, farmer's market as well. Yeah, so... The 10,700 we have reflected on this. Yep, so that they didn't ask for anything. Okay. So and according to Andy, the yeah, fireworks 10, will be fundraised on. Or four, that they asked for ten thousand, but I mean they didn't ask for any equipment. Equipment purchased out of the reserve. And you're on that committee. So there's no, no, no reason to put it in the reserve fund. Oh. There you go. I um, caused too much trouble with my egg hunt. Oh, speaking so, to Andy, he, that's what he said. So what? What? In terms of fireworks. There was nothing requested in the way of equipment or items that would come from the. Recreation from the uh, capital reserve fund. Right. So I can't see any reason to put any more money into it. All right. We're gonna take it out. We're good with the other ones? Transfer station. There was talk before about improving the tennis courts. Oh, okay. Very much want to do that. Yeah. Yeah. that for cost definitely need yeah. to save money for that. Yeah. That's been out there for what's the strain what's the transfer station increase? Um, well, 78 current year, 92 for next year, so $14,000 increase. See, I think that last year's number represents a decrease from what the, I think if you had last year's financial plan full numbers, you'd see that all the warrant articles for last year were actually reductions in what the financial plan oh, So correct. what we're looking yeah. at this year is not an increase. Yeah. It's, a, it's a recognition of the fact we kind of last, remember, kind of last year. Remember, we're paying back for the 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 um the truck yes I know that so, but I still think that all of the trust fund additions mm -hmm. for last year were negotiated numbers way down mm -hmm. way below that was my fault well at this I point, knew that but I was, I was Mr. Chopper <laughs> well at this point we're at a I mean the, the critical thing is not having the budget rejected by the voters and causing a real problem for the town at this point we're at a 4.65 percent increase Mm -hmm. In the town budget, in a year where we've had nine percent inflation and a bunch I of think that's amazing. Going. I think it's so. I think it's, I think it's hard is for somebody to look at that and go, "I'm outraged. Vote against." You know? <laughs> now, I, I can't speak for the. I, I don't know how the voter will look at. We're requesting a third in our version now. A third more money go into capital reserve funds. Mm -hmm. I understand the reason why that is, and I. I've been at town meetings where it's been patiently explained to people in the audience why that is, and people still say, outraged, you know, so. Well, the, and, the and more, say, I think nobody's being above board and everyone's a crook. Could know, we decrease the fire, the fire line and make we that did. percent? Oh, you already did? did. You did. But the thing is, on those warrants, they get to choose. Right. In the operating budget, they don't. It's it's all or nothing. Either you vote for it or you Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The, the, all, or nothing, the, warrants, they the all or nothing increase is, yeah. I think, pretty reasonable now mm -hmm. so if the town just decides not to save for things <laughs> for certain line items i guess the voters will have spoken and yeah. you know things will need to be changed as a result yeah certain um, things in that bottom section are actually in the operating budget um, so I, i'm sorry and did, and did we decide that we were going to change the fire equipment to what number 175 okay the same as the previous year yeah. what was it in the 274. Oh, wow. 274. Scott, can I just ask you a question about this file that you sent? So Which the top one? portion is operating budget. It part part of it, yeah. Those are based on how the DRA sections out expenses. Okay. And then everything below is that some of the things are in the operating number and some of them are warrant articles. How can I distinguish between what's in the operating budget and what's in uh, a warrant you article? Just no. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, if I don't you know. want, we can go down through them if you'd like. Let's if do that, Scott, and I will. Mm -hmm. I will um, put a W next to them or something. Uh, yeah, column so, B okay. is empty for that area. So okay. So what's a warrant? Uh, crew benefits is a warrant. Okay. Scrolling down. 
contingency is a warrant. Okay. Fire department cisterns is a warrant. What is contingency? Contingency is monies that come out of the unassigned fund balance that the board can use for anything that's unexpected. Got it. We have to provide a listing uh, in the town report of what we actually use that money for. So if we bought, you know, I'm not sure, we've spent some of it, not but very little, but you have to document what you spent it on. You just can't say, okay, well, you put we a just roof used on. It. Okay. Did that come out of there? The roof on the uh, planning yes. office, you know, when it started pouring through the roof? I don't. Remember. It's a percentage of the operating budget that you can. Yeah, there's a certain. We only put in twenty thousand. You can 20, go higher, 000. but we don't. Yeah. Okay. Do that. Thank so you. fire department is the same. Fire, fire equipment. Fire equipment. Is, yep. Yes. Uh, let's see the next one. Highway Bridge Trust Fund is a warrant. Highway Equipment Capital Reserve Fund is a warrant. Um, Lee Library Capital Reserve Fund is a warrant, but we we're doing nothing to zero that out. Nope. Reevaluation Fund. Uh, yep, yep. Your Recreation Commission. Uh, Recreation Commission. No. Recreation Capital Reserve Fund? No, we didn't put any money in there. Okay, so I'll, I will zero that. Zero. Yep, it's zero. Town Building Capital Reserve Fund is, oh, excuse me, Town Building and Equipment and Maintenance Fund is one. Town Hall Renovation, but we're not putting any money into it, and Transfer Station Equipment is one. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, what number have you got now for the building? Uh, 162. 162, which is? That's from the financial planning tool. We can put in 160, because really it's $100,000 from previous year, plus 60,000, which is the bond for the PSC. You want to change it to 160? It saves us $2,000. <laughs> yeah, round numbers are good. Okay, well, I've got everything in, in column F of this spreadsheet updated according to what we've said, I think, now. Yep. And, and now the percentage is saying that capital reserve, or sorry, this will, this is a little mixed up. So we'll well whatever. Stacy's going to have to enforce some standards and practices here. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but but now this column is adding up to a sixteen percent increase. Cool. So um, for all these cap for, for one capital reserve for, for oh. the last request versus this request. Probably the only one that really went up is the building one that we just talked about, the one that went from 100 to 160. And yeah, town building and maintenance is up. Um, Cisterns. This is just mixed because we have McGregor EMS mixed into this list and a bunch of other things mixed into this list. Yeah. So um, we, we can go through and try to polish this up. I also just want to double check all the math that's happening inside of this spreadsheet because mm -hmm. I don't trust that it's all adding up quite correctly because I don't think that the tax rate below here is being recalculated according to what we've just done. So that's disappointing because that would be a nice thing to know right now. Um, it will, if it's based on the, the total budget number. So if you're just tweaking the detail, then the total should figure it out tomorrow. If you're, if you're doing this one, right? Yeah. The summary sheet. Okay, let me compare it to Okay, um, at least something's reflected. It's now at um, 5.62, mm -hmm. uh, or a 21% increase, rather than a 28% increase. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, but did you also incorporate all the changes that we made um, to the individual line items within the summary sheet? No, I don't. Okay. I, I, those are not linked yet, so okay. I have to reflect all of those changes. Yeah. So if I just, um, if I just cheat right now, and I grab the total, But it, it's frustrating. It's double counting a little bit because like McGregor EMS is in our yep. is in our operating yep. and it's also relisted yep. on this next thing in the capital reserve area. So we need to I don't know why it reports this this way. Um, yeah, part of part of it is just you have to reflect what DRA is, wants to see in terms of numbers and stuff. Okay, but well, yeah, the second part, if anything, you can figure it out a little bit easier if we segment it in terms of what was actually included in the operating and what is a warrant. That would make it easier going forward. Yeah. Can I mention something about the 60 grand? Can we talk about that and make sure everybody understands what 
the 60 grand that I referred to was. In 2024, we, all, we have, in 2023, we're paying off one of the, the bonds that we have. Right. So in 2024, we have 60 grand of expense that we don't have to pay because that bond is gone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what we had talked about doing was essentially hiding that money. In a capital we reserve don't fund. Say hiding. I think it's called saving it for it. saving it. Yes. A, a, make, putting it into instead a capital reserve fund. Instead of paying interest out to somebody else, out. putting it into an account. Yeah. Yes. So that we don't have to pay interest later on. Yes. Yes. Okay. But I want to make sure that everybody realizes that if we actually didn't do that, our we'd be saving sixty grand mm -hmm. that we have to raise. Later, yeah. Later. So, so, and the other thing is we could put that in um, to use to start with some of the architecture and the grounds. So it could be part of a... But I mean, we could just say we're 60 grand better. I, I want to make sure everybody oh. realizes that if we didn't do something with it, we yeah. actually would be improving our circumstances by 60 grand. Mm -hmm. For one year and then making it much harder for ourselves when we do it. That's hours. true. I'm not saying this is right. I just want to make sure yeah. everybody realizes yeah. that since we've been trying to save money everywhere. Right. This is money that we didn't have to, we won't have to spend in 2024. But this is really important to move forward if you're going We're to actually going to get out of paying 60 Well, it isn't, it's in a capital reserve right. addition. It's a difference between the 100,000 that went into the buildings and 160. So at the very think, bottom of the detailed one that I have mm -hmm. shared with this you. Is a, this is a paper transaction, Stacy, because yep. essentially it's money that we paid this year, we owed this year, we don't owe next year, and we're, we are saying, okay, let's continue to raise that money as though we still had the bond and put it away for. Okay. So there is 50 grand there if we really 60. are 60 grand, if we're really concerned about taking money out of the budget. I just want to make sure everybody's clear that that's what we did. And the thing, yeah. in terms of what Katrina was saying, there's 300 and some odd thousand in that fund anyways that we could use for architectural stuff if we need to. But the thing is, next 2024, when we go for an office building, it would be nice to say, okay, well, we're using the 60,000 from the bond from the PSC, the 60,000 from the office building rent, to go toward a bond of oh I understand so basically that, but it is money that we and have, if to we have other money and if we have let's say it's one point three million and that particular hundred twenty thousand gets you a bond that's a million if you got the three hundred thousand oh, I, I understand I agree with the rationale I just want to make sure that everybody is on um, is yeah. aware since we're cutting money out of this budget and that budget I want people to realize that this is money that. Yeah. I think it's an important investment in the future. What would be ideal going forward, I think, is <laughs> uh, a spreadsheet like this that works. That doesn't, that doesn't double count stuff. I'm not well, it, do, stuff. it doesn't no. double count, but just it's not in the right section. So you yes, can figure it, out well, it and on the detail view, it counts things one way, and then we get over to the broader view, and it counts things another way. So we can't cross apply what we did in the detail view to the summary view, which yeah. is inconvenient. So, but we could combine all these things so that when we make a change one place, it just makes changes everywhere and redoes the total calculation. But I think the changes that we've made now um, decrease things quite a bit. And of course, the select board can take it or leave it. Uh, and it's just decided. <laughs> take it. Well, they can. We are an advisory budget committee. Yes. So, so logistically, how are you going to do this? Because usually what happens is you make a motion that the budget recommendation for next year is whatever it is. And you don't have certain pieces of information that Stacy has on her list that she needs to get. So, are you going to be meeting again? Or what are you going to do? So, Can we do this over email? No, because it's a vote. You need to take a vote. Can you say we vote this, including, like, to give it something, like saying this with the with knowing that these three things will be filled in. And if it's more than something, we can adjust it. Or isn't there some way to word it? Year. That's kind of squishy. Mm -hmm. It's well, no, we we did do something. It's legally covering your base. So as you're saying, if it's going to be way more than that, then we should meet again. But if it's within this parameter, then well, you don't know what that parameter is because one of those particular changes is if the um, health benefits for Larry Oler, I mean, that's twenty five thousand dollars. So 
that's a lot of money and that's the one for the part time full time person the library is not in there that's another point how many of you have to be there for a board meeting can you be there like a little bit before the stuff for me just to verify you can do that as long as it's posted you need right or so for us that will be four people the six of us got it three will cut it for you for are you saying have a meeting prior to that? I'm just saying you could board. you could technically have because you're presenting anyway so you could technically have a five minute we agree on this thing you could have drafts you pass back and forth a quick you we agree on this thing then however many people don't want to be here could go home and if you can get four people yeah. so. um, well I mean you're gonna be there Court, thank you very much for wrangling <laughs> these Excel spreadsheets um, but <laughs> I think like it would definitely benefit me if we could meet again after we can take a look at like what changes court has made and after we have those questions answered from Andy. I don't know if that's you know feasible for you guys to meet again. What, when are we talking? I can't do Thursday. I can tell you right now. Yep. Yeah. Um, anytime really. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, I'm out of town. Sunday and Monday through to yeah. early afternoon. Drop dead date is Monday anyway. <laughs> right. Drop dead. I'm going to have deal with your details, and I don't want to know where your secret meeting is, so I don't have to come to that one. How, uh, <laughs> how many days in advance? So, so 24 many, hours. It has to be 24 hours. So we can't do it tomorrow, tomorrow. night. So we can't do it Thursday, Thursday. for Pat, at least. But we could we just cut Pat right. out of the whole situation. We need <laughs> Pat. We need Pat. No, we don't need Pat. Can you, can you meet I, during the day on Friday? Who's, who's got I'm all right. Good committed. night. You guys are doing who's really good work. I just wanted to say thank you. It's really Do nice you have commitments during the day, Stacey? Um, let me look at my calendar. And Corey, I don't know what your commitments are. Friday is one of my, I'm working from home in air quotes. So I work from home every day. Yes, I, I do that. too, actually. I am my own boss, but I um, well, wait a am a hard boss. <laughs> so, um, but I can do it. Yeah, I'm around Friday. I can, I'm around Friday. So. Friday morning? So we, Friday sure, morning. morning. How about 10 o'clock? Whatever time works for that you guys. That is excellent. 10 o'clock, Friday morning. Yeah? Morning. Do you really feel that way, Cord? Yes, I do. Okay. So, <laughs> Stacy, when you talk to Andy tomorrow, would you ask him to post a meeting for us? Yeah. For Friday at 10 a.m., uh, I assume here. I don't think anybody's going to be using this particular room. Okay. All right. And I will... tell, and just between you and me and the wall and everybody else that's listening, uh, tell them you need those numbers like PDQ. Yeah. Not like okay. next week. So. Oh, you do have to explicit. We're meeting 10 a.m. on Friday, and we yeah, need a little so, bit of prep time. So. Uh, I want the information by end of day Wednesday. Okay. Sounds wow. good. Because um, he should have that. He should have it already. So. I'm asking Andy, accrued benefits liability. I want the output to the financial planning tool. Yep. Uh, new position at the transfer station. Is it included in terms of the health care costs? Yep. Um, also, just generally health care costs and their um, estimations mm -hmm. for employees. Yep. Information on the library trust fund. Um, those were the questions that I had. And whether uh, the, that uh, position at the library is included okay. in the 506. What was the question about the library trust fund? Um, I think just if, like, what the balance was and if we had any additional information on what they were proposing for the 2023 year. Maybe that's a question sure I had in my mind. That CIP people have it. CIP I don't, people don't have it because I'm the CIP people. And I can tell you what <laughs> financial planning tool doesn't have it either. Okay. So. I, I'm not oh, sure. It, no, it was um, if they have requested, I'm sorry, if they have requested anything in terms of a warrant article for okay. a deposit oh, okay. to the library trust fund. Yeah. I don't think they sorry. have it. But I don't think I have it either. Okay. The other stuff, nobody knows the answer to it, including them. <laughs> so so they're, they're trying. It's just been. Too many it's people want to include benefits on your list. Yes, that's the information stuff done in my parents' house, and it's a moving target as far as the cost. Two for to number two. Yeah, no, that's okay. And so, um, Mr. Buckley, going back to your spreadsheet, your summary spreadsheet that you have. Yes. Um, for everything that you didn't list off as a warrant article, yep. All of those other items are to be included in the operating budget. This is correct. Okay. Got it. So it's basically, you know, social agencies, 
Conservation Commission. What else is there? Ready rides getting there? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. With the yep. And the uh, request. McGregor EMS. Got it. Okay. So other than that, yeah. Sounds good. Are we giving zero to Stratford County Homeless Shelter? Didn't ask for anything. Yeah, that's right. All right. That's the other thing. As I said, we didn't get any submission from some of these places, and I had right. Andy check, and nope, the only one that responded was Ready Rides. So Ready Rides showed up in the wrong to, place. They sent it to Newmarket instead. Yeah, yeah. this is the yeah. request. <laughs> yeah. 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 Sent it to the wrong place. All right. It's like, okay, send it to Newmarket when you want money from Lee, and I see how that works. And see if you can get the money. <laughs> Yeah, New Market is being very frugal. Um, they are not increasing nor are they decreasing any social agency funding. They're not even considering it. So. Really? Yep. Yep. They're, they're, they're tighter than we are, so in terms of budgets and stuff. So what Andy sent out, it looks like we are providing um, tax uh, help for people at a higher rate than the other communities around us? Is, is, am I reading tax, that correct? What is it? We're, the elderly. We're, we're oh, the elderly? The elderly. Yep. We're at a higher rate than everybody else yep. around us? Yep. Okay. Yep. Um, the only yes. thing that I could not find on there, which is what I thought I had asked for, was how much money are we actually talking about? And that is nowhere on that paperwork that I He didn't, that he didn't answer see. that question. He didn't answer the question I really had. It wasn't... The, the, all that other information wasn't what I asked. Oh, What's ask the chairperson and How she can ask him. How much money are we actually talking about as far as money that we've said, okay, you don't have to pay that. So what does that total include? How many from all the different people that we're helping. The elderly tax exemption. How much because does that really cost? Because we did last year have at least one person come up and want to know why I'm supporting, you know, there were several questions about why should I help mm -hmm. pay for them. He's, he's got a spreadsheet that will tell you that. So yeah. I wanted to kind of know yeah. what that we're talking about, whether it's mm -hmm. a large amount of money, is it $100,000? Well, or is the it? thing that Mr. Bloomquist, because we're using last names now, Mr. Yeah. Bloomquist brought up, which is a good point, is the longer you can keep those elderly people in their houses, they're not selling them to people with families. Mm -hmm. So it's saving you right. money. And, and I agree that that is something that people are looking at. So, for instance, but I wanted to make sure we kind of know what we're talking about yeah. as far as the quantity of money we're. Yeah. Yeah. But there's no warrant addressing that this year. So last year, I think it came up the because they, they elderly a warrant yeah. article to increase no. the limits. On so, right. so yeah, that's why it came up. Valuations. Yeah. Yeah. the spreadsheet that totals. Andy has points out, you know, who's who's who was billed, who actually. Um, Owes how much and but stuff like that. So you can figure out, around. you know, okay, well, we really increase the, the you know, exemption. So this is how much I really yeah, cost the town. Yeah, you gave me a whole bunch of paperwork. Because the, okay. the thing is, and we'll lose the Blue McCaffreys because we're picking on them at the moment. Now with uh, three Oyster River students, <laughs> the amount of money that we are paying for to is educate the students taxes? is more than his taxes, probably like two or three times more. So the more you can keep those elderly people in their houses that are not selling. And I should tell Jim we should think about children just to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, see how that goes over for you. And I'm just picking on you, Corey. Why do I have to subsidize your children's education? Well, we only have one child in so far, and with the streets and buildings falling <laughs> apart in this town, we may move out <laughs> before the other two enroll. Do we have to do minutes? Yes, um, right, you should. Before yeah. Denise says okay. it. Okay. Um, so, Denise has sent me minutes. We have a lot of minutes. <laughs> so um, well, have, have we approved any minutes? I don't believe I think so. I think we have. I would make a motion for the minutes that are before, but what are the last two that came through? <laughs> I'm abstaining on the one where you met on the 17th. I wasn't here, so I'm. Yeah. Do we have to do these? Can we do these in one giant motion? That is up to your chairperson. Yes, uh, we can. <laughs> I like this chairperson. Um, so we um, we did minutes on for August 23rd. That seems like a long time ago, doesn't it? Well, for the ones that we. 
Yes, that was our very first meeting. <laughs> okay, um, so we have minutes for September 22nd, September 29th, October 20th, October 27th, November 3rd, November 17th, and mm, yeah, that's that's it. I don't think yeah, that I've November seen. November 17th is the last one. Yep, I don't see any minutes for 1129 because that was ABC only. Okay. Um, motion to approve aforementioned uh, meeting minutes. Second. Favor. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye, except for the 17th, I have seen. Okay. Because I wasn't here. Excellent. So, motion is approved, except for the 17th. Well, no. Motion no. the 17th was approved. Four ayes. Yes. Five ayes, zero nays. Four eyes, one abstention for the 17th. Excellent. Yes. Yes. You Thank go. you, Corey. So you what would I do without you? <laughs> And okay, any other business for today's meeting? Mm -hmm. No. Oh, uh, we never talked about the um, um, election workers. That email that was sent. What about the? We weren't sure what year he wasn't. Because he wasn't. He wasn't clear. He wasn't clear about what year he was even talking about. Yes. So he's talking about 2024, but I believe what he's asking for is us to put in an increase of five percent. For the people who actually take it. And he's saying about half of them don't even put in a timesheet because they want to be volunteers. That sounds complicated. Yes, it is. Let's just leave it how it is. Let's just leave it how it is. How much uh, money is it? It's not going to be very much. Okay. What if, yeah, what if half of this increase in a small number to of have yeah. three rows of people, so there's a few more people there? That has really helped get people through a lot faster. Yeah. yeah. And so, so people are much happier because they're not standing in, a, in <laughs> line for. Forever. Well, gee, we we talk about a line for a half hour. In Texas, they talk about a line for six hours. Three hours and hours. Yeah. I've never seen a half an hour line in the league. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And have I? The this last election, it was out to the sidewalk at one point. That was the worst it got. Yeah. The last election. Other than that. One before that. <laughs> so. No, no but that was much better. The last. select board can take a look in terms of, because I think even if he was to increase it by 5%, we're talking about hundreds of dollars. Yes, yeah, so you're only talking hundreds of dollars. Yeah. Yes. So we might put in some more money, but it's hard to know who takes it and who doesn't. So right. if you give him a little bit more money, if he goes over a little bit, that's fine. But, you know. Okay, motion to adjourn this meeting. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, adjourned. Thanks, everyone. And FYI.